Yes, and talking about our local community, we talk a lot about the Bills. We love the Bills. We do, Go Bills! We do. But the Bills are not the only game in town. The Buffalo Sabres open the 2022-23 season on Thursday against the Ottawa Senators on home ice at 7 p.m. Let's go Sabres! Let's go Sabres! Oh, so exciting. And you know what? There is a local business that is located and this is a bar venue area that's located right by KeyBank Stadium. They have so many great events coming up. Yeah. Of course, you can see it right here in this video, 26 Productions and Buffalo Ironworks. It's a fantastic location. Yeah, they are. We decided to stop by there because they are preparing for amazing things that you can do with your friends and your family coming up in not too long. It's right there. We're going to give you all the details so you can put it in your calendar. Check it out. Testing. Testing one, two, three. We actually do a mixed bag of all different types of events. You know, we, we kind of came from a live music space, so we actually host a ton of our own events here at Ironworks. Yep. Uh, we have a packed fall of different national acts coming through, which is so much fun. Uh, we're also lucky enough to have clients like MNT Bank and the Buffalo Bills. Mm -hmm. Go Bills. Uh, Go and Bills. Always. And so we're very fortunate where we get to be at every home game. We get to, you know, work with different clients there as well as Highmark and Crowley Webb. Mm -hmm. um, so we're kind of on site there and it's great to see the energy of Buffalo come together for the Bills and, and especially this time of year. Um, it's so much fun. Uh, we also love one of our clients, Step Out Buffalo, because they also do a ton of events, so we produce all theirs. Uh, nice. We have a big Crawling Dead bar crawl coming up uh, October 29th, which is super fun. We kind of take over Hurdle Ave, nice. uh, and really it's like three, 4,000 people that come out <laughs> and just kind of hit all the bars along the way. Right. Um, and then honestly, we just have a really diverse set of events coming up. Um, I forgot my favorite. I which did. is actually step out Buffalo's fall makers and shakers. Oh, what's which, that about? It's right. It's their vendor <laughs> market that they do around the holidays. It's it's more like not necessarily a Christmas one, but it's kind of a holiday market that they do Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and right. that Sunday. And we help we've helped them to kind of bring that to light over the last year or so. They brought us on. It was a, it was a project they've been doing before, uh -huh. um, and then we kind of came in to kind of critique it a little bit and yeah, put, put the twenty six touch to it. And we it's one of our definitely oh, it's so our much favorites. Fun. It's I know. So so much fun. So if we could push that on anybody to go, it's family oriented, it's just five dollars to get in, nice. and there's over 125 vendors. So you also, not to just not to leave out the Sabres, we talk about the Bills, but the Sabres, you got something going on for them as well. So tell us about that. We do, I mean pretty much so we're here at Ironworks, we're open before and after every home Sabres game. Uh, we try to curate it where we'll always have a live band, uh, basically free for Sabres people to come, mm -hmm. see the show after, uh, but it's a really good spot. I mean there's, no, I can't think of another bar that's closer to the arena than us. Mm -hmm. um, over during COVID, which seems like kind of an oxymoron, we did do a couple very private events. Things from reunions. We did the 50th um, high school reunion for Amherst, Amherst High School. Yeah. They did like a photo wall. They did um, a live band. Nice. Um, they did their own food. You had the full bar, and it was just a really neat new atmosphere to offer something like that. So we not only do reunion parties like that, we do private events like birthday parties and um, networking events for different different businesses. We also really want to build out the holiday party side. Yes. So any business who's looking to throw like a, sm a smaller holiday party in a business that we can sit, you can stand, you can drink, you can dance, you know, pretty much anything to offer is here. So any business that's looking for something new, we would love, we would love to, to help you build your holiday party and a really cool event coming up that we didn't touch on uh, that we actually just want a job on and we're starting to produce is going to be a brand new immersive exhibit that's coming to Niagara Falls um, it's going to be at the old summit mall that's up in Niagara Falls and it's called Arctic a man under the ice um, and if anybody knows about the Van Gogh exhibit um, is it kind of like that it's similar it's, to it's that, similar yeah. like that it's it's very again very immersive full of projectors and, and kind of interactive things and and what it does is it follows around a professional photographer who made his is living actually shooting under the ice both like in the North and South Pole as well as just uh, Iceland and, and all the Arctic area so it's really really unique. So tell me about when this debuts. It kicks off October 19th <laughs> and it'll be here through early January. Where do people go if they're looking for more information not just about hosting an, a holiday event perhaps but also the events I'm sure you have an events page. We do. Um, I would say pretty much two different websites you can go to. You can go to buffaloironworks.com or 26productions.com. 
gosh. That's so exciting, so right? So much fun. Oh. So much going on. It's making me really excited for the fall and the winter. Yeah. Things to do. For yep. a full list of upcoming events, make sure you jump online or you can even follow them on social. So that's Buffalo Ironworks at Buffalo Ironworks rather on Instagram or at Ironworks Buffalo on Facebook.